everybody, James Wagner again uh, from 900 Global coming to you with a new ball release at Arsenal Pro Shop inside KC Bowl. Uh, this one is going to be the Honey Badger Revival. Uh, this is the next generation release. Um, this is a new uh, first of for the uh, Badgers. This is going to be a hybrid version, uh, S70 cover stock. Grapnel 2.0 asymmetrical core, a uh, little modification over the previous. Um, number wise, we're looking at 254RG, 0.048 differential uh, with 0.012 intermediate differential. Uh, this is also a first for this ball. This is a three piece ball. Um, outer core, or sorry, outer cover, filler, and core. Um, out of the box, it comes 1500 polished. Um, this ball here is drilled 65 by 3 by 30. Um, I brought a couple of pieces with me to do a comparison uh, Honey Badger Claw and the original Gold Badger, um, all drilled pretty much the same way. So let's take it to the lanes and uh, see what we got. All right, everyone, Ryan Ragland back with you with regional staff member from 900 Global, James Wagner, getting ready to throw the revival honey badger. And he's going to be comparing this with the uh, original honey badger also. And that ball has a nice, strong setup and push. Pattern. This is following the afterburner video, so if you follow these in in order, so uh, they'll compare the afterburners to the revival, and then to the aspect, and then go to the volatility uh, core. Another good ball. That one, it looks like your swing is pretty loose enough that with that being clean to the front, you can you can get it to the spot that's outside of really worrying about it. Yeah, this this is actually a ball that I've been waiting for for quite a while. Uh, that was one thing that I always asked for. So they made this ball for you. I'm not saying they made it for me, <laughs> but. I, I always felt that they needed a hybrid, um, that's about the hybrid only thing, honey badger. That's about the only thing they don't have out of the honey badger line is a hybrid of it. Yeah, they had they had solids, pearls, uh, urethane, but nothing in a uh, pearl. And the badger being symmetrical, right? Being a hybrid, so this is an asymmetrical hybrid. This looks like it'd be like if you're gonna make a ball change, this would be a good like second game after they start burning up a little bit.
Yeah, this is actually a good combination for me. Um, I can see on a heavier pattern, I can see myself going from the claw to this down to the original gold badger. Well, the, the whole badger line, you pretty much have a lot a lot of bases covered if you just want to stay with a badger line. Alright. We'll go to the claw. Nice one show on this one. And you can tell that one reads just a little bit sooner on the lane. And still has that push. So you probably, I would say about a four feet difference down lane. About that. Read point? Yeah, yeah, pretty close. About, about that. That looks like it just read a bit sooner. And the claw has just a little bit of a shine to it, so it's going to help get to the front. The other thing you got to remember is the claw being a two-piece and with the revival being a three-piece. So that's going to that's going to help a little bit on the on the breed of the lane itself. smashed him. <laughs> actually, actually, he scouted the 710, folks. You couldn't see as he walked across, but he scouted the 710. <laughs> that was a zone on the approach that I had not hit yet, so... Alright, let's try this again. Mind you, we've had about two inches of rain and about four hours this morning and uh, the air conditioner was not on so the ventilation wasn't going and so it still wasn't back. Now they, all three of those in the same layout? Same layout, okay. uh, all three balls. Now here right on the, on the pattern you can tell that if you get it in and you have something cold it's going to hold on it. But if you get it right, it's going to ricochet even though you got that one in a little bit. Right. Now this one, I'll, I'll try to get this ball out. Uh, try to get it out to seven. Hopefully I don't stick. Hopefully. Looks like the hang badger might be a little bit cleaner than the revival. Yes. Just because being the, the solid pearl versus a hybrid. Um, also being a two-piece ball, it, it gets down the lane a lot further for me. Um, I still like the gold one versus the money. Uh, the money badger for me, I, I couldn't really get a good read off of it. But uh, yeah, I kept this one in my bag. This is where I started the company with. Uh, it was with this particular uh, gold honey bag. So. I'll throw the revival a couple more times and then uh, move on to the next one. Get one more good shot out of it. I, 
to me, that ball just fits that. I mean, they're all going to be clean with that cover, but it fits that nice little spot for the read down down lane to get your setup. Right. And um, I'm going to follow up this video with, with a little bit of information. I'm going to try some surface changes on this ball. Uh, not particularly this ball, but i got a few more coming. And um, different drills, different surfaces, and then that way we know if it takes surface adjustments well or you know where we need to go with, with the ball itself. shop and talk a little bit of, a little bit about the any bad revival. Alright everyone, Ryan Reagan with James Wagner. That is the Honey Badger Revital and I see this as a asymmetrical white hot. Uh, pretty close for me as well. Um, it's it gives me that good um, it's a honey badger, it's gonna give you a nice clean look. It, it does give me a clean look, but it's something that I, I feel that I'll be able to play with um, a little bit more frequently. You know, the claw being a solid is, is way too aggressive of a cover. Um, for me, the the original gold pearl is it's touchy on conditions. Um, this one I, I see I, is going to be a li little bit more universal for me. Um, probably a good league ball. Um, and, and something that I, you know, can take the tournaments with me and, and feel comfortable in. There was a few shots that you threw uh, just a little bit ago with the original Honey Badger, and you could tell the cleanness of it, but you could tell it had just a little bit more length to it because this one checked up maybe just a little bit sooner. Still had the read, but didn't have that hockey stick right. look to it at, that the Honey Badger originally does. Right. And uh, again, comparing it to the claw, um, you know, this will get down through the heads to the break point and, and make it uh, not sharp move, but it, it's going to be stronger and be able to finish through, through the deck. That is the Honey Badger Vital. I'm Ryan. That's James. See you guys later.